Dutch label shop. Let me get ready for this video. I apologize if my camera falls. It is like on a tripod, but not the way that it should be. Um, you know how sometimes you just like use a tripod in like the wrong ways? That's basically what's going on right now. I gotta do it all. I gotta put the lotion on, put the chapstick on. I forgot to grab my coffee. Like, man, we're just, let's just, I can't get this open now because I just put lotion on. We can put these on. We can look sophisticated. Of course, not on the face. Um, I have contacts in, that's kind of stupid, but we need to look sophisticated, right? Like we're ready to like, you know, get to business. You know what I mean? Have your little like notepad and like the pen and all that good stuff, take notes. Just jump into this video. Um, I'm doing a Dutch label shop review. Um, I was gonna do an unboxing, but um, I got too excited and I didn't have time to film when the box came in. So, or package, I, I suppose I should say. Um, but yeah, I bought two things this time around. Um, I have used Dutch Label Shop before in the past and I bought one thing from them. And I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna show you what that was. Um, it comes in a little bag like this. These are, I don't know the exact, I guess I should have done, I should have looked at what I ordered before I uh, jumped on here to show you, but I think these are called like basic, like, Woven, what is that word even? Like, wo what am I trying to say? Like the, like the, you know what I'm saying? Like the little cloth labels? I don't know. Anyway, so, um, my thing is called the North Stitch, obviously, as you know that if you clicked on this, um, channel, but, so, looks like that, um, it's sil- it's like a silver, gray, whatever, and it just says the North Stitch, and, um, I have these, like, mountains over here as well, so, um, they're just- little like labels you can put on your thing so like you know if I'm gonna sell this mug coaster which subscribe to my channel and stay tuned because I want to show you guys how to um, make these but yeah if you just want to like claim this as yours instead of just selling the product with nothing on it um, you can just kind of put the tag maybe on the back or whatever like sew it on so that's what I've ordered from them before and I love the service because you get so many of them for so cheap, and it's such a good idea for small businesses, um, and I don't remember how I heard from them. I heard about them through, I think someone on Instagram posted about them and like posted a picture of what they ordered, and I was like, I went to their website, which is very easy to use, by the way. Basically, if you go to their website, it's really easy to use if you um, click on the type of label that you want, like they have tags, they have care labels, they have these that I just showed you. Um, you can make it right then and there and see what it looks like. You can pick your color of the background, you can pick what font you want, the color of the font, um, the size of it, all that good stuff. So these were pretty basic um, and I love these and I don't use them. It's not that I don't have anything to use them for. Part of the problem is I don't really know how to sew. I guess if I'm going to use these I want them to look professional, right? So. I'm kind of holding off on these for now just because I, I don't have a plan yet, but they're always nice to have. So let me show you. That's the first thing I ordered from them probably about six months ago. And as I said, they were pretty cheap. And um, I believe what they do is when you go to their website, they will offer you a 10% discount. Um, at least that's what they have right now. That's what I... Um, got when I bought these a couple weeks ago so it seems like every time you go to their website they offer you some kind of incentive yeah this time around I ordered two different things I ordered care labels and tags um, just kind of like retail looking tags I guess so let me start with the tags because I think they're just really cool it came so first of all both of these came in like a bag right like a big bag it can't it, like they have a little like rubber band and just like a whole pile of them um, so they're not like wrapped up special or anything like that, but I don't think they need to be. I guess that's just my review of how they came. But I designed all of these myself, um, the only thing is I just didn't make them. Um, they do the printing for you and all that good stuff. You custom, customize them yourself and just basically let them know what you want them to look like. So these are my tags. I guess I'll just pull out one here. I think you get to choose what material you want up here. Um, this is kind of like a wax coated, I don't know how to explain it, it's just a basic, um, I think you can get elastic as well if you want. Um, you get to choose the color, obviously, of the tag itself, I chose white because I wanted to keep it simple in case I do want to change it in the future. Um, and the font, I 
care about the font a lot and actually that's one of the reasons why I've been updating my website so much is because I just really want to keep more of a simple look going on. My logo is not on here though and that's the only thing that I, I wish I would have done. I think this is okay. It's basic. The font is like gray um, but it's just cute, right? Like it's just a basic tag. So those are the tags and I forgot how much I'll put right here. I'll put right on the bottom here um, and the description below how much I ordered for how much money because I don't recall but what I can tell you is that it was not expensive at all. It's very affordable um, especially them offering a 10% discount and stuff. Um, all that stuff is just awesome. Anyway, I'm gonna move on to the care labels now and these are really cute just because I so I crochet I make a lot of things with cotton and um, Especially the towels that I've been making, if you guys are familiar with my dress towel toppers, um, those are normal towels, but the yarn that I use on them are acrylic, and um, sometimes depending on the material of the yarn, and the fact it's a kitchen towel, people just throw them in the wash because it's a towel, you know, they just want to clean it. It's not too good for the yarn, and um, I guess it's, I realize that it's my fault for not telling them how to take care of it and that you need to be careful and hand wash most of the things that are handmade. I don't know if that's the case for other small businesses out there, like do you, I guess if you're watching this video and you have a small business um, that's handmade, do you, have you found that it's hard to get across like what you should do as far as telling your customers how to take care of something, like I don't know, just post in the comments like what you guys do. but. If you're looking for another way, this is my new way that I'm going to try, and maybe I'll give an update of how it's working, but these are the care labels. And you can see there's quite a bit of them here. Um, they're just basic white, you know, it's what, um, I have 30 of them, but they're a basic size, um, and you can pick what size you want, how many, like, layers of words you want, and what you want it to say, obviously, and, like, the color and all that, so... Of course, the first thing I have um, up here is the, um, it just says the North Stitch. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, you can see that. So, at the top, it just says North Stitch, um, and then below that is just, like, further about the business, I suppose, like, Handmade from Michigan. I'm gonna try to put... That's a really important thing um, with me and my business is that it's handmade in Michigan, because I believe that Michigan has a lot of potential and a lot of creators. We're just gonna put on some chapstick. You ever just feel more confident when you put on chapstick? Like you can just talk more, you know what I mean? Like just like, you just wanna like smack your lips in people's face and like make a point, you know, like. Care labels. Care labels. <laughs> you know what I mean? All right. Um, if you're still here, hi. Um, so yeah. Care labels, right? The next thing I have is just handmade in Michigan. Like I said, it's just important to me um, that people know that it's not only is it handmade from an actual person, but I'm in Michigan and like that just makes it. The only problem with that though, um, I will say, is that it narrows down my audience. I feel like people think that they can't buy something from me because they're not in Michigan or they're not like, if you're just someone in California, it's like, Hey, there's this chick that sells things in Michigan, but like, you know, the fact that she has Handmade in Michigan on it just kind of makes it seem like she's only targeting that audience, and like, that's not the case. It's more of just to share what Michigan is about with other states. And now that I'm feeling it, it's pretty thick. It feels like, you know, kind of like it's double-sided, but you can't like open it, you know what I mean? Like, there's no middle. Um, it's soft, you know? It's, it's like any other tag that you would find on your clothing. Under that, I have three icons that I decided to choose, and there are tons of icons that you can choose from, but I didn't want to like throw them all on there, mainly because I didn't know what most of them were, but I just wanted the basic ones, like there's a picture of a hand in like a, a bowl of water, and it's just like, you know, that means hand wash, obviously. The next one is, um, it crosses off the, the washing machine, so, you know, don't throw it in your washing machine. And then the third one is crossing off an iron. So do not iron the products, right? So those are the three, um, if you can see those, those are the three, like, those are the three icons that I decided to 
choose. And then below that is just further information <clears throat> about like what it's made of. So um, it's just 100% cotton made with care. And that basically means, I guess I kind of did myself a little injustice because if I put these on anything, they have to be 100% cotton or else it's lying, right? So just something to think about. So I am very happy with my purchase. These look very professional. I have three different things to use now. If I want just a basic tag for something, um, if I want people to know that something needs extra care, I can put that on there. Only thing I'm gonna struggle with, with these two, not the tags, but the labels, is how to get them on the product. And maybe I will update you guys later with how I decide to do that. Obviously, it's just gonna have to be sewn on there. I do know how to hand sew, I have a sewing machine, I haven't used the sewing machine yet, um, but I do have those, so there's that. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this little review. All in all, I would give Dutch Label Shop 5 stars out of 5 stars. I have never had problems with them, the shipping was on time, everything is exactly, um, if not what I ordered, above what I ordered, it just makes it feel like it's mine. And it's definitely a really nice thing to add to a small business to just give it more of a professional touch. There are other things as well, like you can get sizes, like if you want your, maybe you hand make shirts, if you want them to say like small, medium, or large, you can do those. Um, like I said, there's tags, there's all different kinds of labels. So I definitely suggest that you guys head over to their website, dutchlabelshop.com, and just play around with it. Um, that's what's fun too, even if you don't want to order anything, just play around with it save it for later. They have an Instagram as well. Uh, I don't know if they have, I'm sure they have other platforms, but I mostly Instagram is really cool. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, um, this little review. Hopefully my products will start to look better. If you haven't already, go check out my website. I've been working really hard on that, trying to um, just reorganize everything, give my business more of a professional look. I'm really working on the marketing aspect more than the product at the moment. Let me know how I'm doing in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up if you like Dutch Label Shop. Let me know, have you guys ordered anything from them before? And if you have, how did it go? Like, did it work out for you? Um, did anything, you know, go south? You know, let me know in the comments below. Also, let me know what video you guys want to see next. I have a poll on my Facebook page if you want to go check that out. Um, vote whether you want me to make a video about crocheting succulents or if you want me to make a video about how to crochet a mug coaster. Of course I'm gonna make both, but you know, which one do you want to see first? Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You might want to turn on the post notifications. I don't know, I guess it, subscribing doesn't work anymore as far as being notified. Um, so go ahead and do that to support me. And I think that's it. I will see you guys in my next video and I hope you have a great day. Bye.